so the project that I'm going to be working on this summer is called Open Data for Open Web, and the project has three main aims which I'll go through in this presentation. The first is implementing the FAIR principles to make um, data collected more useful. Um, the second is extracting more data from existing literature and data sources for C. elegans researchers to access and check models against. And then the third aim of the project is creating a standard worm, which is a common reference base, which allows easy comparison between phenotypes. So to go into a bit more detail on the first aim, um, C. elegans are an important model organism in biological research and a large amount of knowledge has already been generated surrounding them at a behavioural, physiological, neuronal and molecular level. Um, however, as the amount of data available to access increases, it's increasingly important that we begin to think about how this data can be stored in a way which will be most useful. This brings us on to the FAIR principles, which um, is a framework which is already thinking towards this goal um, and is already being followed by other major data collators. The key principles focus on findability of data, especially with an emphasis on machines being able to find and use the data. Accessibility, which will involve checking licenses and seeing which data can be made available at different levels of authorization. Interoperability, which is ensuring that the data can fit in with other data sources using the same formats, vocabulary and referencing similar work the easy access for C. elegan researchers. And finally, reusability, so making sure that the provenance, usage rights and protocols of how the data was collected are clearly described to be the most useful for future research. So the first thing of my project will ensure that all current and future data in OpenWorm will conform to these principles. And in so doing, we aim to inspire a similar trend in future of data collation, making data access easier for biological researchers. Um, moving on to the second aim of my project, which is basically to increase the amount of data available in PyOpenWorm. So PyOpenWorm is a code base within the OpenWorm project, which allows researchers to query data already available on C. elegans in the existing literature and data sources. Um, it's an important step to leading the way towards a more open, comprehensive and standardised data source for biological researchers. So the second aim of my project aims to increase the amount of data available in here by extracting features from already existing literature um, for easier access of researchers. I'm going to focus on three main um, types of data. So the first one will be movement, and I'll build on the work which is already established through the OpenWorm Movement Database. The OpenWorm Movement Database is a searchable database of just under 15,000 experiments and I will aim to extract the key features um, from movement videos which will be most useful to researchers. The second data source that I'll be focusing on is neuronal behaviour. Um, so neuronal activity can now be tracked via calcium in imaging in both immobilised and now mobilised um, worms. Um, under different conditions and I'll begin to extract um, data from these videos during the summer. And then the third type of data source I'll be focusing on is cellular behaviour. So to create a more realistic model of C. elegans, um, we now want to look into a bit more detail of the cells including to do with ion channels. So I'll carry out an extensive search of existing literature to extract patch clamp data. All the data that I extract in A2 will be um, incorporated into PyOpenWorm, keeping in mind the FAIR principles which I mentioned in A1. And as PyOpenWorm is just one part of the larger OpenWorm project, in addition to increasing the amount of data available for researchers to query, um, I'll also make sure that I integrate data in a way which will be useful to other parts of the OpenWorm project for researchers to validate their models against. And then finally, on a kind of different note, we have AIM3, which is um, slightly different to AIMS1 and 2. So this will focus a bit more on image analysis. So researchers are now able to collect many images on the location of neurons and cells. Um, which they can visualise using fluorophores. 
Um, however, at the moment, there's no um, common reference worm which exists to easily compare locations of cells in worms expressing the different phenotypes. And it would be really nice if this existed for easy comparison. So using the images which some research groups are already collecting, we'll attempt to, or I'll attempt to, create, collate all of these images together to create a common reference space um, for fast comparison between C. elegans phenotypes. And that's effectively the free aims that I'll be working towards during this summer. Thanks for listening.